light and soul of the earth. Bowed in prayer, the sacred trees in crystalline robes make their offerings in silent song to the blessings of all. Because when you're up there in the mountains and the trees get loaded with snow, it's like they're bowing down to the forces of winter in their crystal coats. Because it was like below zero. That's when it really, the snow really sparkles. <laughs> For anybody who's been in the below zero snow, you know exactly what I mean. Um, okay, I'm going to find another one here. Well, this is a good one. This is another good one. Uh, this one's got a little bit of uh, power in it. It's called Conversations with an Angel. Fear. Famine. Disease. War and pestilence. Savagery. Degradation. Brutality. And control. Rule in this darkest of nights. Fear from the deepest abyss of darkness reigns. There, in the absolute realm of the shadow's shadow passing, the twinkling of the smallest light grows in significance and might. Until its meaning comes to pass and frees all sorrows present, future, and past. Entering the eternal with joy and love, holding one closely, rising, rising, rising to the transcendent in a boat of love. There you go. Okay, well, we're going to just move on here. Uh, we're going to go into this poem that I... Uh, oh, no, you know, first we'll do this one here. I love this poem here. It's called Birth. of another golden moment. And you probably know what a golden moment is by now. So you've been briefed on the golden moment energies. Turn off the buzz. Turn off the electrostatic cackle. Turn off the electro-gravitational light beams. Looking for peace? Looking for harmony, looking for radiance, looking for love, looking for happiness, looking for compassion, discovering deep understanding. Come to this precious present moment. Regain the space and time we share. Now, face to face, eye to eye, nose to nose, ear to ear, breath to breath, heartbeat to heartbeat, mouth to mouth, word to word, personal energy, biogenome exchange. At this point in the poem, I always like to tell people that we are all are sharing our 10 trillion little microorganisms right now. And we have no idea what they're doing. <laughs> so, as part of the mystery, so biome exchange, this is life, this is matter, this is life, this is you and me becoming one. It is our treasure and our liberation. Celebrate the oneness. There is only one path, and we are all on it. Our gratitude comes from acknowledgement of each breath, each heartbeat, as a gift from the eternal, precious human birth, the treasure of all treasures. Okay, now I did another poem here. Uh, this is about the painting downstairs, which is, uh, hopefully some of most of you have seen. It's called Falling Blossoms Offered to Moon, Mountain, and Lake. The 
spirit of the ancient ones lives in all things. With deeper understanding and gratitude, we respect the gift of each day. Ancient moon spirits, ancient mountain spirits, ancient water spirits, come together and dance in this mystery dream. Listen now, the song of the falling petals. Live now, in this precious present moment, your heart and mind beat together in harmony with the invisible bonds of love and joy. There, a diamond rainbow of deep understanding arises and is offered in gratitude for the treasure of knowing, 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 and knowing again the radiance of your smile. Okay, now there's another one here. And uh, one of the things that, that all of this poetry and art comes from nature. And one of the things we always talk about is the difference uh, between knowing the invisible and the visible. The visible is the material world that we live in and are uh, bounded by in boundaries. But the invisible world is the biggest part of our material world that has been left unseen until, uh, or you're a mystic and you saw it and tried to tell everybody about it. But now science has uh, wonderfully lifted its banner and it given us some understanding of the invisible world that the mystics uh, can't calibrate they can only tell us about in their beautiful uh, teachings. So this poem, I'm going to tell people also, not only we're we sharing all of our invisible biome energy together, my 10 trillion little guys are talking to all of yours, and, uh, but out there, the trees, the red rocks, Oak Creek, uh, all the people, the cars, the parking lot, the gasoline, the dogs, the birds, the animals, the rats, the little uh, snakes, and the creatures, all the insects, everything is exchanging energy with you. It's all part. And that's when you look in my paintings and you see these energy lines going through everything, that's what it's about. Because it is true. And uh, until we recognize how we are so intimately connected with all of life and all of nature and all of the universe and all of the life that's in the universe because we're not the only life here. There's other stuff out there and they would like us to join them but we haven't graduated yet because we're too uh, not in balance and we're hoping that at some point uh, in several eternities from now uh, if we all can keep our, our, our stuff together, we will be able to join in the greater, what I call the greater company of, of life that lives in the universe. Uh, so this poem uh, is called Dia de los Muertos, a tribute to 2013. Of course I have to do that because this is the perfect day to do it. A hundred billion ancient hearts and still counting. All turned to dust long, long, long ago. Now they're raindrops. Now they're rainbows. Now they're dancing diamonds spiraling in the winds of time eternal. Light becomes information. Information becomes light. Light becomes sound. Sound becomes the word. Word becomes the flesh. Hermes, Zarathustra, great shaman King Pakal, Ulysses, Buddha, Mohammed, Christ, Moses, Saint Francis, Thomas Aquinas, Plato, Socrates, the, the list goes on and on. All great kings, all great gods and goddesses and queens of compassionate activity, 
all great artists of all kind, poets, painters, dancers, actors, musicians, architects, join together with the great discoverers of the science of knowing, the scientists, all those whose flesh has been transformed into the invisible energies of our world. Please know now, in this precious present moment, as we remember you, your heart still beat in the spirit of our being. This is a miracle. This is a celebration. Your transcendent golden moments are alive in your spirit as we know it. And honor it and celebrate it. As your spirit lives in our hearts in every moment. With gratitude, we honor you in all of our endeavors of compassionate, awakened activities and prayers for the benefit of all sentient beings, the biokind. And I love the word, the biokind. The biokind is a new word. It means that everything is alive and uh, you want to be kind to everything. Because it is alive and it is connected to you. And uh, it's, it's all quite simple. If we uh, just, you know, slow down, meditate, breathe, uh, be happy, uh, you know, because it's short. And we have a choice. And that's what we say. Our shirt says, practice love and kindness. It could say practice love and kindness and happiness before it's too late. And then here's another little thing here that I, I, I like to read. Uh, every year on the 4th of July is Independence Day. So we have a holiday the day after Independence Day, and we call it uh, Interdependence Day. So here is the, 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 uh, what I call the, uh, the creed of Interdependence Day. We are not separate. We are connected wholly and completely in the cosmos. And it is our responsibility to recognize and respect the intelligence of all life and spirit, animate and inanimate, the bio kind, the visible and the invisible, to learn and actively work to harmonize our creative efforts in all of our living connections with nature to reintegrate ourselves into the oneness with compassion. Because there's all kinds of ways to reintegrate and they're not all compassionate. So if we wish everyone to be able to reintegrate with compassion, and we thank you for taking the time to share these words from the present moment, falling from the sky. And uh, invite you back every first Friday, there's another one. And eventually, as you can see, we are recording them. Uh, and they will be posted each first Friday on our internet site. So you can go to a date and go like, I don't know what he said in uh, January 2012. And then you can go there and see we're hotly cold, cold. <laughs> anyway, thank you again. It's a pleasure to have you here to listen to you.